Hey, sweetheart. You ain't got no man? You yell. Hey, girl, what's up? Can I get your own number? You whistle. Hey! Hey, two! You catcall? Sexy lady! Hey! Come here! Let me talk to you real quick. Say, girl! Hey, beanie! All are forms of street harassment. Also, don't tell women to smile. Women don't owe you smiles. Catcalling is um, primarily men, but not exclusively men, but almost exclusively men making um, unsolicited comments, usually of a sexual nature, to the women in public spaces that they don't know. Oh. Hey, yo, mama. Hey, yo, girl. I feel like All right. you're needed Whatever. to emphasize that you want to, uh, am I allowed to swear? Go for it. But emphasize that like you're hinting that you want to fuck them is more important than them just going about their day. It's whenever usually females are walking down the street or down some kind of road and there are people who are trying to, I guess say get at them, you know, or trying to tell them that they think that they're attractive but doing it in the most disrespectful way possible. It's just um, stereotypical uh, for guys to do it, but I think it goes both ways. It's a little bit dehumanizing, actually, just to think that you're walking around for the, the, the visual pleasure of men, basically. It's hard to explain the instance because it's like it's happened so many times. Yeah, we do it. All the time. It's fun. When we drive. Fine, but one has to wonder when catcalling became normal. We've kind of established public space as a space for men to express themselves in however they feel, and we teach men to express their sexuality literally at any opportunity. i tell you what my movie yeah, is, and you can it. tell me if you're a fan. So, Sandra, you're walking down the street, yeah. and I see you, and uh -huh. this doesn't happen often, but if it, if it happens, if uh -huh. the moment strikes me, this is my move. I'm going to stand. <laughs> oh, gosh. Very slow, just like this. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> and, you know, you walk by, clapping. and it's just a clapping. Oh, and I would say the success rate is about 90%, you get a smile. Uh, it's our culture, it's the media. I think the media has a huge, just a huge impact on people, period. Um, whenever you look at TV shows or see things in the news about girls and guys and how they get together, if you see on TV that that's how one of your role models um, acts towards women, maybe that's how you want to act toward them. They mean it in a nice way, I think. Like they find Most you the attractive time, yeah. or they want to just pay a compliment. Yeah. I think you ought to have a, a sense of humor about it because if somebody's a big enough loser to do something like that to you, like you ought to get a little enjoyment out of it. It's <laughs> a good thing. It's, I mean, they're not calling out you because you're ugly. I don't think that you can have a sense of humor about um, being catcalled because somebody's looking at you as an object and not as a person. And they're not commenting on you and like your merits uh, personality-wise. They're commenting on how good you look and whatever you happen to be wearing that day. And not in a complimenting way. In a sexual nature and it's also rude and unwelcomed. Personally, catcalling just in general tends to make me feel really creeped out. I don't really know how to take it. it it's just really uncomfortable. Hey. When you said it, I kind of wanted to punch hey. you in the face. I think it's happened to me before with uh, in Spanish, and a lot of times I feel like it's more disrespectful in Spanish because I feel like there's a lot more derogatory words towards women in Spanish to use. There so um, that's just that's personally how it made me feel. For many people, catcalling is more than just a problem. It's a fear. Fear that the wrong reaction to a man can lead to violence. Probably about 10 at night and I was just on campus just driving around with my buddies and really I was just messing around and it just kind of happened. This happened at night? Yes. Oh, that's really creepy. Walking across Denton, I really don't feel all that unsafe. Um, but everyone, my, none, of my, none of my female friends, by and large, will walk around at night. And pepper spray. It's not with me right now, but I have some. I'll have my keys. Um, I'll try to put my keys in between my fingers. I have a pocket knife and it has basically everything that I need to protect myself if I'm just walking to and from class. And then um, whenever I'm driving somewhere or I'm staying out late, I keep pepper spray with me and I also keep a taser with me and then in January I'm actually getting a handheld gun. My mom has always told me walk in groups, stay with your friends, stay with your roommates, never walk alone at night. A lot of guys are kind of jerks and they're weird and they like to scare girls like that. 
And I bet they find it very uncomfortable being by themselves. I was walking down the street one day with one of my friends. Thank God it was with one of my friends. It was a little bit later at night, so it was just a little bit more scary that way. Um, and we were just walking. I didn't even I didn't even notice the guy. And he called out to me. He was like, um, "Hey, green shirt," because apparently I am a green. Sh I had a green shirt on, so that's my name. Um, and since I didn't say anything, because at one, I did not hear him, my friend told me that, um, he attempted to like grab my arm and he like held it really, really tight. Um, and he was like, hey, I'm talking to you, like pulled me back. Um, and that was probably the scariest thing for me just because I was like, this guy physically grabbed me. Those guys that actually engage in catcalling are a little bit um, aggressive in the way they carry themselves anyway. I can just kind of tell and they seem um, like they could actually have violent intentions. Um, so that's why being high call is uh, even more threatening than most people think. You can say nice things to people, but catcalling isn't saying nice things to people. Beautiful is fine, but bitch, I want to eat your <laughs> That's a whole different story. And the sad thing is, that guy will probably be happy to tell you that story. But come on, how often does the gross stuff really happen? Uh, we have a quota. We try to do it at least five to ten times a week. There's like that comic that goes around every once in a while where it's like this, this picture of these three people and it's like one guy and he's looking at a girl's butt and then behind him is another guy looking at his butt and then like he turns around and yells at the other guy, guys who are like really turned off at the idea of like men expressing interest in them so of course how would that feel to them? They probably wouldn't feel that great if they weren't attracted to them. A cat calling is more like if you cannot get a girl and you just, it's just being like ghetto um, and, <laughs> and I think it would just, yeah, we just tell him that. I mean. Stop being ghetto, you know? Try to be more sophisticated. You yell, you whistle, you cackle. All are forms of street harassment.